Good morning, folks. On this uh, 29th of May, this morning, we are looking to Psalm, Psalm uh, 45, verse 7, for something to think upon this day. Thou hatest wickedness. Let's see how Spurgeon applies this today. Be ye angry and sin not. There can hardly be goodness in a man if he be not angry at sin. He who loves truth must hate every false way. How our Lord Jesus hated it when the tempta temptation came. Thrice it assailed him in different forms. If ever he met it with, get thee behind me, Satan. He hated it in others, nonetheless fervently, because he showed his hate oftener in tears of pity than in words of rebuke. Yet what language could be more stern, more Elijah-like than the words, Woe unto you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites! For you devour widows' houses, and for a pretense make long prayers. He hated wickedness so much that he bled to wound it to the heart. He died that it might die. He was buried so that he might bury it in the t his tomb, and he rose that he might forever trample it beneath his feet. Christ is in the gospel, and the gospel is opposed to wickedness in every shape. Wickedness arrays itself in fair garments and imitates the language of holiness, but the precepts of Jesus, like his famous scourge of small cords, chase it out of the temple and will not tolerate it in the church. So too in the heart, where Christ reigns, what war there is between Christ and Belial. When our Redeemer shall come to be our judge, those thundering words, Depart ye cursed, which are indeed but a prolongation of his life teaching concerning sin, shall manifest his abhorrence of iniquity. As warm as is his love to sinners, so hot is his hatred of sin. As perfect as is his righteousness, so complete shall be the destruction of every form of wickedness. O thou glorious champion of right and destroyer of wrong, for this cause hath God, even thy God, anointed thee with the oil of gladness above thy fellows. Food for thought about how we think and act as well. And uh, as we consider these things, I pray that it might do us good. Until the next time, God bless. Please take care. Bye for now.